Hi, I'm Jameson Elston. I'm the Engine Monitoring Unit Software Lead, and I'm here today to talk about how to retrieve a complete engine operation data file from a GENX EMU. Just to get you a little background, complete engine operation data is a listing of all the recorded engine parameters throughout a flight. The GENX Engine Monitoring Unit has one file which contains multiple flights worth of data. The preferred method for downloading the CEOD data is on-wing, but we will be doing off-wing here. On-wing is preferred because it takes only three hours, while off-wing can take up to 22 hours. For this procedure, there are five pieces of equipment you're going to need. One is the power source, and the power source needs to be able to provide 115 volts at 400 hertz. Then you're going to need the uh, cable to connect from the power source to the engine monitoring unit. Then you have your engine monitoring unit from which you're going to retrieve the complete engine operation data. You're going to have your data retrieval cable which connects from the EMU to the PMAT. In the lab today we do not actually have that cable but we have a lab equivalent. The only difference here is we have an additional switch box and some additional connectors. These will not be on the cable that you receive. And finally, we have the PMAT. The first thing to do is make sure that the EMU DLFF data config file is loaded on the PMAT. This file can be obtained either from the engine monitoring unit software load disk or from the product support engineer who requested this data retrieval. The location of the config file on the PMAT should be C drive, data files, new loads, EMU DLFF data, disk 001, and within that disk 001 folder you'll see contains the config.ldr file. All right, once you confirm that the config LDR file is in the correct directory location, you'll need to go to Lodestar, select the library tab on the right, and then select the install software. Here you'll select new load directory, and then in the new loads you need to scroll down until you find EMU DLFF data check that box and click next. Here you need to confirm EMU DLFF data shows up in the pop-up, select OK. And if this you receive this message, go ahead and overwrite the existing load. Then you'll select the EMU DLFF data, you'll select the correct model number for 1B or 2B, and you'll select the correct LRU. Then click the next button. Here you just need to confirm EMU DLFF data is highlighted, select next, and Lodestar installation complete. Press OK, and then you can log off Lodestar. Now we will connect the cables to perform the download. The PMAT connects to the test connector on the EMU, and then the power source needs to connect to the J19 connector on the EMU. On the PMAT, Open PDL615 data loading, select PMAT2000 mass storage. From here, you will select the model and the LRU from the previous steps, and the part number, select EMU DLFF data. Then press the select button. You'll get the confirm 615 load pop up you'll see all the data you selected is showing then you press the start 615 load button from here you just go to the bottom right and select start load it gives you an option to enter additional data but this is not necessary so you can just select yes to continue from there you turn on the power supply set the voltage to 115 volts and frequency to 400 hertz then you just apply power to the engine monitoring unit. At this point you should notice a count up appearing on the PMAT screen.
This indicates that the data retrieval process has begun. The data retrieval will take up to 22 hours, so we're going to go ahead and just interrupt it now. Once the retrieval is complete, you'll see a load complete message appear where you're currently seeing the counter. Once the load is complete, you'll select the go back button in the lower right hand corner. Then, to retrieve the data, you need to go to memory location C drive, data files, downloads, PDL 615. Within PDL 615, there will be a folder named EMU DL FF data with the date and timestamp. Inside of that folder, you'll see disk 001 folder, and then you'll have the FF data file. This is the CEOD file from the engine monitoring unit. This file should just be retrieved and provided to the product support engineer who requested the data. And that is all that is required for downloading CEOD data from a GENX engine monitoring unit. COD is very important for monitoring the health of an engine and for furthering investigation into field events. Thank you very much for watching.